like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars what do you do when you are behind this is a place full of institutions you fix extra classes that's the way you catch up is that true oh yes extra classes if you meet only once a week for someone who is in time and on time that's fine but to someone who is behind it was destined that by age 29 25 35 you should already be at the cutting edge of god's purposes for your life now you are 30 35 40 25 23 and you are behind and the holy ghost is showing you according to that divine clock is two years left and yet the healing anointing is not yet in your life yes there are souls tied to your obedience and to that grace you still are at the periphery of understanding the prophetic you have still not understood the apostolic you've still not understood signs and wonders you have still not understood the dynamics of intercession you've not understood what it means to be an apostle in the marketplace spoon feeding with one five minutes something in the morning oh i read my bible today and god is saying no no destiny is calling that means you must create extra time with god look at all the activities in your life now draw a graph activity versus result you will find out that over 60 percent of what we do are useless as far as destiny is concerned don't be afraid to cut them out and give god that time and say holy ghost let's hurry up because in life at the end of your life you will not do more than five or six things i assure you as busy as you look now as the busiest people on earth they don't do more than three or four things all these activities is a satanic way of distracting our generation this is one of the most distracted generation we are busy we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night there is no productivity you gist and gossip for five hours that's your destiny counting then you sleep for 10 hours not as a reward for anything you did then you don't learn you now say i'm supposed to watch two videos while you go on youtube suddenly you find out there's one joke or something and you start watching and before you know it it's two hours you are just laughing away and time is going and the holy ghost keeps nudging you many of you know what i'm telling you the holy ghost has been talking to you young lady don't allow people to die because of your slow pace there are people you are to finance until now you've not even handled things around finances there are crusades it was destined that it's your resources that will finance them tonight is a wake-up call playing playing games with destiny playing games with god's purposes you must fold it now it doesn't matter what church you come from it does not matter what age you must be about there is always there is a project if you are unsaved your project is to meet jesus apostle i came to receive miracles thank god you will get it but the, your greatest need more than education more than marriage more than children more than career more than job more than promotion the greatest need of any unbeliever is an encounter with jesus no matter what else you have if you have not had this encounter there is still trouble are you learning now so you see as a believer you know how to help people when you see people you can discern their level and know how to help them communicate the highest priority for them when someone is saved and you look at him the next thing you should be looking at for is le his level of transformation and you find out you've been saved when i was saved 1991 wow instead of dashing the person a shoe or dashing the person material to say look finer and greater it's wonderful but can i recommend some messages you want to give that person a birthday gift more than clothes go and get a flash help the person and arrange messages mental transformation finances spiritual growth Give him as a birthday gift. 
heaven will bless you you have moved that person's life forward then intercede for the person to take that flash drive seriously i'm showing you how to help people some of these mundane things we do and we waste time around someday that trumpet will sound whether we're ready or not i assure you let there be a sense of urgency in your life do you know the thing about destiny come gentlemen these guys everybody's destiny has another person connected to it if these guys were destined by god to move forward based on my apostleship and i fail i did not just fail two destinies have suffered because i did not go forward the question is who right now in this may is suffering because of your not praying forget about yourself who has gone to the grave today because your prophetic grace is not sharp enough which family is suffering now because according to the archives of the spirit it was you that was allotted their salvation and their deliverance tied to you of urgency that the king's business requires haste there are some of us after this lecture tonight you should make up your mind go and sit down buy a new notebook spiritual growth get a ruler mental transformation finances relationships empowerment begin to study them come up with a timetable and discipline yourself obtain grace I must watch a video concerning spiritual growth. I must watch a material that will transform my mind. What are you doing now? No job. What are you doing? I'm in a process of transformation. You would die there or the person lied. The person lied a thousand times. Content for transformation. And you are already on your way getting closer to empowerment. Empowerment is useless when it comes to a mind that is not transformed. This is where we have a lot of reckless use of the anointing i'm saying it with every sense of responsibility there are many young men and women scattered across the body of christ recklessly misusing the anointing you know why because they were not discipled before they were empowered they just brought seeds and met us men of god just because the person got born again and started prophesying does not mean he's a prophet he must sit down in the school of the spirit to be mentored let me tell you this listen to me dear spiritual leaders no matter how charismatic the, the experience of any new convert is he must sit down in the school of the spirit and learn doctrine to be able to administer the gift and the grace of god to him well this premature exaltation of people because of a flamboyant gift is why we keep having casualties are we blessed yes. so just because someone found himself to start prophesying now nobody can talk to him a service can be going on like this for instance and you just stand up i have a word from god and just because some of the words are accurate now no everybody's afraid nobody wants to stop him sit down are you the first to prophesy you sit down and learn doctrine the ability to discipline your gift is proof that you will last with it if you're here and you're already misbehaving on account of spiritual gift don't feel condemned this is the heart of a father talking to you obtain grace to go back because you are closer to deception if you have gift without the word you will not know when you've gone out of the boundary of scripture so we promote people we ordain people we exalt people and you find out that everybody continues to be a student in the school of the spirit but there is a level of maturity through the communication of doctrine when i was a child i spoke like a child i understood like a child i acted like a child and then when you find out that you have contended for transformation you will know that your seasons of appearance is coming because god begins to give you opportunities they will come as trickles lead prayer here do this here 
you may get a job with people of influence it's not about the job is that god told you you are esther in the making God told you you are Joseph, you are Daniel in the making. So he's using the job as a springboard to take you there. Look beyond the salary. You must understand relationships. Be fruitful means be relational. You're a businessman, don't just learn how to produce things. You must learn how to replenish. The security of wealth is in that one word, replenish. The ability to make what is depleted to come back again until the harvest and the seed time meet themselves in your life then you end the reign of poverty and lack forever and you can now be a blessing to others are you ready to pray our time is gone but we'll take a few minutes i want us to flog it out with destiny as we pray i came with a burden it's a miracle service but more than that my dear people listen to me I desire God sees my heart how that every time I pray for us my desire and my longing is to see that we come into a point of power with God maturity and understanding where the doctrines of scripture are not we are not confused over them salvation is like egg the transformation of a an insect transformation is like lava empowerment is like poopa character and um, humility is like being an adult and then you recycle it back to him again Jesus from the beginning Jesus at the apex of your life what happens when you've won the souls what happens when there are signs and wonders through your hands? What happens when the crusades are jammed? What happens when your bank account is full of money, assets everywhere? What happens when there are awards around your table, testaments of your impact? What happens when a generation says, we love you? You stand there with nothing else to do. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. That's how men last. Oh, Jesus. Listen to me. Transformation is powerful, but it can become an idol. Empowerment is powerful. It can become an idol. Ministry can become an idol. Prosperity can become an idol. Titles can become an idol. Apostle Joshua Selman. Revelation can become an idol. Greek, Hebrew, Latin. The highest proof of transformation is not knowledge, is love. The highest proof of spiritual maturity is not excellence in, in preaching, is not efficiency in purpose, is the health of your relationship with Jesus. I wish I could sing this song. When the music fades. And I simply come. Longing just to bring. Something that's of worth. That will bless your heart. I'll bring more than a song for the song in itself you search much deeper within sing it with passion from your heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. We're going to pray.
pray all of these dimensions this will be your prayer request leave the one for tomorrow you'll bring it here and we'll pray but for now I presume that many of us are saved so your next prayer becomes the grace to contend for transformation then empowerment then character and humility then back to Jesus again please lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart are you praying lord i'm at a stage in my walk with you that i desperately need to begin the journey of transformation transformation through the ministry of the word transformation through the ministry of the spirit an understanding of doctrine an understanding of the principles of the kingdom Some of you have walked with God a while. You need to contend for empowerment. Lord, I'm in a season of my life, in ministry, in career, in destiny. I require empowerment. Genuine grace from heaven. The power to be called. The power for exploits. The power to be called. The power for exploits. The power to be called. honor this there are people here who are saying apostle whilst hearing you i could describe myself that i've not even started that journey because i'm yet to make jesus lord of my life you're outside overflow one the overflow there following online you are in here please i'm going to count one to three just for sake of time I want you to be very bold and intentional or you are here you want to rededicate your life to Jesus please leave your seat very quickly overflow one and the main auditorium you can come out and stand here overflow three for sake of time just move to your projector screen let's honor them as they take this bold step please stand up please stand up come God bless you God bless you God bless you lift your right hand those at the odd overflow lift your hands too likewise those following online watching from whatever platform and whatever device you can just lift your hands to jesus in the comfort of your home your office wherever you're following and let's make this declaration with understanding jesus is here please repeat after me with understanding say lord jesus i love you and i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight I declare that you are my Lord you are my Savior you are my King I receive your life into my spirit and I receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that from today i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious people thank you for the grace that saves thank you for the grace that builds i commend them oh god to the ministry of the word i commend them to the ministry of the holy spirit i decree and declare that let this be the beginning of an experience that will lead to your maturity your excelling in life as you serve the purposes of the kingdom with your life may you find joy may you find relevance in the name of jesus christ you are blessed 
you'll go from glory to glory and from grace to grace in jesus name i pray amen and amen